All right, we are now moving into strategies we can employ to help pay off our debt. It's how we pay them off. In what order should we pay our debt or our loan types off? So we're going to start with the avalanche strategy. Now, the avalanche strategy is somewhat what it sounds like. You're starting at the top of the mountain and crashing down. In short, you're paying the minimum on all your debts, but then taking the extra money you have remaining and tackling the debt that has the largest interest rate. Once the debt with the largest interest rate is paid off, you take the amount you're putting into that debt and put it into the debt with the next highest interest rate. And you continue this process until everything is paid off. And I'm a man of practicality, so let's put this into some, let's put this into some actionable steps here. Nothing gets me more fired up than uh, information without practical into implementation. You know what I'm saying? So first thing you got to do is create a list of all your debts. I'm talking student debt, credit card debt, auto loan debt, personal loans, all that jazz. After that, you're going to, within that list, you're going to order the loans or the debts from the highest interest rate to the lowest, highest to the lowest. And then thirdly, you're going to pay your minimum dues on all of your other debts so you don't get in trouble. You're just going to pay your minimum on all the debts you have. And then fourth, the fourth thing you're going to do is after you've paid your minimum on all of those different types of debts, you're going to throw down the extra cheddar you have onto the loan with the highest interest rate. With every dollar you have available, you're going to toss that onto the loan with the highest interest rate. You got to pay extra on that one. You're reducing the amount you owe at that insanely high rate. Shoot. Credit cards, forget about it. Those suckers are between like 18 and 24%. It's crazy. You're going to you want to knock those high interest rate guys out of there quickly. So let's do let's do a quick example. Let's do it with some real numbers and see if we can knock this out. Here's a list of some debts, and you're going to tell me which one would come first in the pecking order if we wanted to use the avalanche strategy. We got a credit card with a balance of 6000 bucks, an interest rate of 21%, and a minimum payment of $200. We got a student loan with 4,000 bucks, an interest rate of 5% and a minimum payment of $100. And then we have a personal loan with a balance of 2,000 and an interest rate of 7% with a minimum payment of $150. What order should they be in if we want to do the avalanche strategy? Say it out loud wherever you are for bonus points, your car, grocery store, wherever you're at watching this course. I don't know why you'd be in your car watching this course, but you could be. Uh, but I mean, even if it's uncomfortable for you to say out loud right now, just do it because to pay off your debt, you're going to have to get used to getting uncomfortable and making some sacrifices. So the final answer being that the order that they would go into would be the credit card would be the highest interest rate. So that would be at the very top. That's what you would put all that extra cheddar onto. And then the personal loan would come next with 7% and then the student loan with 5%. So 21%, 7%, 5%. The only thing the avalanche strategy really cares about is that interest rate. Whoever has the highest interest rate, that's the one you're gunning for. That's the one you're going to try to knock out first. So what are the concluding thoughts, thoughts about the avalanche strategy? One, it's going to help minimize the total cost of borrowing. Two, it helps you pay as little interest as possible, which since we know how compound growth goes, that's very, very valuable to us. But something to keep in mind for the strategy is that you won't have the instant gratification of seeing a loan paid off quickly with the strategy. You're tackling the big boys first, that big, big interest rate guy first. So this isn't a strategy made for instant gratification. It's big moves only. So ponder that one, ponder the avalanche strategy. And next, we're going to talk about the snowball strategy.